Happening today, the saga of Portage Manor seems to be winding down as the assisted living facility closes its doors. Matt Gotch joins us live outside Portage Manor with more on this story. Matt. Yeah, that's right, Terry. As of noon today, the county officially recognizes the facility as permanently closed, with all remaining residents moving out by 10 a.m. Portage Manor, the health care facility that cares for St. Joseph County's most vulnerable population, has closed its doors. You know, it's unfortunate. This is such a needed resource in our community. And to lose the, the facility and the mission uh, today at noon is, is a little disheartening. The county actually made history today, but some would say not in an admirable fashion. Since the very founding of St. Joseph County, the county commissioners were allocating public money to taking care of folks who can't take care of themselves. We've been doing that since 1831 in St. Joseph County, and this is the first time while we're no longer doing that. And I think it's a momentous moment, and I hope it's not a moment that they're going to look back on and be judged harshly for. The former residents of Portage Manor have been scattered throughout northern Indiana, with some being displeased with their current situation. I do hear from the former residents of Portage Manor. I just had one reach out to me over the weekend. He's over in Fort Wayne, and he said he's not, not real happy with where he is. He, you know, he misses his friends. He misses South Bend. And he's still holding out hope that he'll be able to come back here. And now that the facility has closed, many wonder what will happen to the building and property it rests on. Well, it sits on 113 acres of prime real estate. And I suspect, uh, based on the plans that have already been laid out in various uh, meetings, that it's going to be developed. And it will be probably similar to an Eddie Commons. Now, in a statement issued this afternoon, the county commissioners say in part, our staff members have shown unwavering commitment to the well-being of our residents, and we are grateful for their dedication. Live from Portage Manor, Matt Gotch, 16 News Now. All right, Matt, thank you very much for that update.